not every day can be fun. Sometimes you actually have to like go shopping for food and that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to one of the biggest supermarkets in Japan. It's Ion Mall and let's see what they have. and cards are much smaller than in the States. It's because people usually only buy a day's or two days worth of food. First up in the supermarket is unagi. Unagi is eel and during the summer they like to eat eel because it's supposed to give you more energy, more stamina during the season. This is also eel but this is river eel it is delicious you also find a lot of fish very fresh <laughs> shellfish as well Uwashi is sardines yes. yeah sardines there's a lot more fish in this country and a lot more shellfish down this way it's all fish that you can eat raw so a lot of sashimi out of sashimi, they also will sell sushi here. Well, semi-dried fish. Dried fish, you cook them on your fish grill. They're done in a couple minutes. Now this is shake. You can say shake or sake, depending on where you're from. In Kansai area, so Osaka area, they say sake. And in Tokyo area, they say shake. One thing you might notice, like momo, the peach, one peach is like $3. Crazy expensive fruit here. The watermelon there, this tiny, tiny watermelon, it's like $18. And people buy them. This is called nagaimo. It's a, a root vegetable, like potato. Usually they grate it over and mix it with soy sauce. This is the season for edamame, and I know they're really popular in the U.S. right now. This is shoga, so that is ginger, as well as this one. This is mayonnaise and they use it for so many things in this country even on pizza nobody understands that but yeah it, it happens and it's got a little cupid doll on it <laughs> and this is the mayonnaise of choice in this country and not refrigerated so you gotta wonder it's real or not real but popular miso comes in different colors different flavors some of them have soup stock in them, some are plain, some are very, very black, and some of them are almost white. So you can try all different types. And this is powdered soup stock. If you're gonna make it on your own, then you need to buy niboshi, fish, dried fish. is their prepared food. So they have the best selection. Let's check it out. We got noodles over here. So many busy people come here for lunch. They just grab something to go. These are great. These are rice in a pack. So microwavable rice. Some of them actually have things mixed in with them. Complete meals, different types of rice. If you're too you know, you don't have time and you don't want to make rice, well, here you go. Pop it in the microwave for a couple minutes and you're ready to eat. Look at this, a whole row of just instant noodles. All different things. This one, they are also instant noodles, but in a pack. So you need a bowl. These, 
are in a cup. is a yakisoba and usually in the summertime you go to festivals some of the matsuri you will always find yakisoba it's a big hit at the festivals this is the brand to buy this is it remember that you can get anything from sushi this is inari sushi so inari sushi and it comes in two different shapes this one and this one and it's tofu skin on the outside, and the rice is a bit sweet. Lots of onigiri, all different types. Like, look at that one, it's huge. There's so much stuff in these onigiri. And then you've got your dessert, ohagi. This has soy bean powder on it, and this has red bean paste on it. One of the most popular bentos is shake bent. We get shake, lots of rice, and a bit of some vegetables in there. Oh, that was a trip to the Japanese supermarket. I hope you all enjoyed it. There's a lot of interesting things to see there, not quite like in the United States. So if you're ever in, in town, come and see one. Until next time, mata ne.